Hello everyone, today we will be doing something about Typhoon Mawar. So, this one is at 175 miles per hour right now with a pressure of 924 millibars with a very nice looking eye as you can see there. Um, however, this eye has been progressing lately. Um, right here, and is expected to become 180 miles per hour. It is very scary, and if I zoom out here, as you can see, it is very, very large. Um, and right now, I'm actually going to go figure out the current size of it, if I can do that. Um... Never mind, I cannot do that. <laughs> the update on Zoom Earth um, kind of stopped me from doing that, which is a little annoying. But anyway, it's probably pretty big, as you can see here. It just passed over um, Guam, actually. Let me put the label on. So, it was right around here in Guam. It passed through as a Category 4 at the time, though. As you can see, when it was way back here in Guam... You have 130 mile per hour winds, which isn't as bad as right now, where it literally is at 175. So, um, yeah, that's that's not, not that's not great at all. Um, now if we go out here, it looks like when we turn on the wind animation, that yeah, it's probably going to be going somewhere along that way because as you can see, um, the winds are kind of going. Um, more to the left, or as I probably should say, to the um, west. They're mostly going to the west. And maybe it will probably go near the Philippines. So, I mean, that's possible, but more likely, as I'm looking at the track, it's probably going to go more in between Taiwan and the Philippines, or even hit Taiwan. So anyone around that area, it could hit you. But... Um, as it shows in the forecast right here, it probably won't be that bad by that time because it only says 105 miles per hour, which means it was already strengthening really quickly, as you can see. So you might only have, like, Category 1 tropical storm force winds. It won't be as bad. But as long as this isn't getting any near any more land, um, it should be fine. Just we still need to track it because anyone on the boats in the sea and all that kind of stuff, they're going to have some problems with that. Um, so looking at the rain, it's actually quite bad, um, 1.25 inches an hour. I'm not going to look at the wind because the wind is actually very false on here, <laughs> but 1.25, 1.26 an hour, I mean, that's a lot of rain. Um, and there is even rain in the eye, which isn't always normal, but I don't really know what's going to happen with this so anyway so yeah it's going to be pretty bad um with the temperature however these waters uh they're not like i mean no actually they're pretty good a little better than i thought 84 but that's why they're probably going to stop around taiwan because as you can see they start going below 79 which is what you need for a hurricane to form and that's probably going to weaken it a lot so, that's, um, almost it. Let's just look at a couple more things. So, on the humidity, uh, the humidity is kind of low, also, so that's going to bring it down. And, the last thing that we're going to look at is the pressure. So, the <laughs> pressure around, oh, okay. The pressure around this hurricane is very, very low. It's even lower than 936, but that's a little, I mean, this thing only really goes down to 970, so it's trying its hardest. But, um, the pressure is looking kind of promising for it ahead. It's not like high pressure areas. Oh, I mean, there is a high pressure area above it, but still. It's kind of pushing against it, which might weaken a little bit, but the point is, right now, it is a super typhoon. And a super typhoon is definitely not one of the best things at all. Obviously, I mean, it has the name super in it, so... Super means very strong. <laughs> so it's going to be very bad, and I hope everyone who's getting striked with it will all be okay.
And I'll see you in the next Rose of Rainbender. By the way, some isagons coming out really soon.